Hey, hello guys, I'm Trust here, just coming at you with another quick video today, and uh, in this video I'm just going to be showing you how to make a, um, a Steam anti-spam bot. So basically, um, recently in one of the chats that I own, uh, as you can see here, I've basically just had these bots spamming, so these bots are basically spamming that you've won a butterfly knife and you need to click here, which is obviously some kind of scam link or whatever. And I come on every single day and I delete the messages and ban the people and they're back the next day. So these are obviously just automatic bot accounts. Someone's bought some sort of account farmer and they basically just have a bot set up. It costs them like $5 a month or something and they're able to get some money out of this. So I basically made a bot then today to basically um, prevent this type of thing where... It basically listens out for certain phrases within the message and um, if the phrase is there it deletes the message and it bans them from the server so I'm just going to be showing you I've made the bot so I'm going to be showing you how to set it up today so um, basically what you're first of all going to want to do is in install Node.js so this is basically the sort of runtime that we're going to be using or this sort of interpreter for the application I made so you're going to want to click the Windows installer or whatever um, version you're using and basically then what you're going to want to do, I'm going to show you how to set this up on like a normal local version first. So you can just sit and run it on your computer. And then if you have a VPS server, then I'll show you how to set it up in the VPS server after this as well. So basically come to this GitHub repository here, which I set up. And you're going to want to come here, clone or download, and you're going to want to click download zip. And so this will basically just obviously download the zip file. Um, and basically you're just going to want to drag this under your desktop here. So once you extract it, um, you're going to want to open it here and in here basically are all the files so we're going to need command line for this wee bit but if you're new to command line I'll show you how to use it so we basically click in command line here the command prompt and we're going to type in here cd then we're going to get the um, the path that this is on which you can do in windows by clicking here and we're going to want to copy this we just paste it in here and click enter. So now this basically means that we're in the repository or like we're in the um, we're in the directory where all the files are. And to confirm this, you can type in dir for dir for directory, and you can see all the files here, and it should look something like this. So if you installed npm on Node.js, right, you should be able to type in node minus v here, and you get um, you get the version of Node.js. And if you didn't install it properly, then it will come up like command unknown or whatever, and you'll have to reinstall it. I'll not go into details with installing Node.js in this video, but I'm sure you'll find some help out there. And uh, first command you're going to type in here is npmi. And this is basically just going to install, install the libraries and stuff that is needed for this project. And now that you've done that, uh, you're going to want to open the, um, you want to open this directory in some sort of text editor. So as you can see in here, uh, we're in it. So we're going to want to come into the config file. So this is basically your settings for this. So first of all, we have account name, which is going to be um, the username you log into Steam with. So whenever Steam boots up and it asks you for your account name and password, it's that account name, not your username. Then we're going to want to type in the password. And for shared secret, um, you're going to need to have Steam Desktop Authenticator uh, enabled for this bot. Um, so basically, I think that I have another video previously where I showed you how to get this shared secret. So I'm going to put a link to that in the description for you to get the shared secret. Uh, but yeah, just follow that video to get your desktop authenticator and everything set up. All right, guys, just I was reviewing the video there and I forgot to mention, uh, whenever you type in your account name here and stuff, this needs to be in either single or double quotation marks uh, or a tilde key, just like this. And then you type in the account name. So for example, Almatras in here. And we get this, and these also need to be in like quotation marks like this. Just uh, thought I'd mention that because I forgot it. Uh, what was I going to say? Yeah, for the bot account, you're going to need to um, you're going to need to have a like, community and stuff enabled. So I believe you might need to deposit money onto the account to be able to send chat messages. But yeah, you you can get all that set up if you are serious about the bot, or you can just use a spare account or something. Then in here for banned phrases, these are basically the phrases that this bot is going to listen out for, and um, it's basically going to ban any user that says these things in chat. So, for example, thanks for participating. So, as you can see, this bot, I just picked out some phrases this bot commonly says in the chat. So, congratulations, you won. Thanks for participating. We'll send you a prize in five minutes and leave your link because, like, these things are, like, nobody's going to sit and say these things in chat. You know, these are only really bot things that you can say. You just want to, want to pick your own phrases. If you want to add some more phrases, you just put a comma in here. Then, well, you can use single quotation marks, double quotation marks, or this tilde key. And uh, you can just type in a new phrase. So, for example, um, enter here or something like that. Um, 
or you could put in bad language here actually whatever you want you know if, if you want to have a word filter or whatever in your chat then you can also do that and um this public username this is going to be the username that your bot has it's going to change the username whenever it logs on an in-game name so this is basically going to come up like in game um with a certain um you know a certain game which is a non-steam game which you can type in here and that's basically you done um i just have another way to do this so that um it doesn't show up just so i can show you what the bot um does so I have an EMV file in here. Don't worry about that unless you're like a more advanced user, but that's just so I can show you the bot running. So now that you've uh, changed all the things in config.js, you're going to want to come back to your command line when we're still on this directory here. And we're going to simply type in node index.js. And what this is, as you can see, bot logged on. So that means we're successfully logged on. So now what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to come into your Steam group. You're going to want to come to manage group members. And as you can see here, the bot um, in here, I already set um, the bot up to be an officer, but you're going to want to promote the bot to um, by clicking this and you're going to, uh, well, I can show you how to do it. So if it's a, uh, if the bot is not here, hold on. So yeah, if the bot's not here, you're going to want to search for it. So in this case, it's called uh, anti-spam bot. So if I just type in here anti-spam or something and uh, as you can see the bot here you're going to want to click this and you can promote this to an officer which gives them permissions to kick people and stuff like that um yeah so that that's all set up successfully so now then if i come into this chat as you can see here there's this wee um star beside their name and as you can see it changed the name successfully so they're in-game anti-spam bot so if i just bring up another account here just to show you um one moment and i'll get the account set up and be right back all right then, so I got this uh, bot account set up here and as you can see, it has joined the group chat. So if for example, well, I can just type in anything here. So, hey guys, whatever. And um, that doesn't get filtered out or anything. The bot just ignores that. But if for example, we type in, thanks for participating, which I'll do now. And this can be in like any case. So like that, if they try to get around it like that, if I type that in, as you can see, you were banned from chat room. And I'm completely banned now. And as you can see, uh, the message down here also gets deleted. So, um, yeah, it's a pretty good anti-spam bot. And, yeah, that's pretty much all you need to do. Um, I'm just trying to think if there's anything really more from local version. Yeah, you wouldn't leave this sitting running on a local version, I don't think. You would leave it sitting running on... Um setting running on like a server or something like that. But if you wanted to, um, you could come in here and you could type in um, npmi minus g and then an application called pm2. So I'll leave all the commands in the description or somewhere else and um, just wait for this to install. Okay, then, so once you've basically installed this PM2 application, you're going to want to type in PM2 start and then index.js. And this is basically going to leave it running in the background. So essentially what that means is now I can go off the command line, no command line stuff running, but as you can see, this spam bot is still running in the background. And if I wanted to stop that, you just open a command line anywhere, type in, uh, well, for example, PM2 status, and we can see that the application's running. So I could type in uh, PM2 stop zero or PM2 stop index, and that basically stops it. So as you can see, the bot's offline now. And uh, if I type in PM2 start index again, then as you can see, the bottle should come online again, and it does. So that's basically if you want to like leave it running in the background um, when you're doing other stuff, don't want to leave this terminal window open. Also, if the bot um, crashes, which it could do i haven't really tested this yet um but yeah if the bot crashes it basically means it automatically brings it back online so now i'm basically just gonna go and buy a vps server and show you how to set it up on a server okay then so basically the uh, hosting service i use is DigitalOcean. so um if you already know how to make a vps server and all that then you can skip um i'll just put like a card up or something to show where you can skip to um if you want to skip out the setting up of the server but um i'm just going to show you how to set up the server here so go use my referral link if you want some uh free starting money and um yeah let's just get started so you're going to want to come up here to create droplets and create cloud servers or well create droplets even uh so we're just going to select ubuntu here probably just the easiest and the server it'll just be a five dollar a month one this is not an intensive bot just select uh, probably whichever one's closest to you or close to the server and um or closest to like wherever the chat room's hosted i'm not sure how to find that out but just like any of them um i'm gonna want to come in here and we'll do a uh, root password so actually we'll just do testing um testing testing 
one, two, three. Test. Yeah, that'll that'll do. Um, so yeah, that'll do us for that, and then we can just call this bot or something like that. Doesn't really matter, and um, create droplet. So I'm just gonna wait for this to get created. Okay, then. So once your droplet gets created here, um, we're gonna need another application called Putty. So I'll leave a link to this in the description down below. You just click download here, and um, you should have Putty in your computer then. So once you open this up. As you can see, we require a host name. So the host name in here is going to be this IP address that we get here. So we're gonna come in here, uh, paste that in here. Uh, we can save it, so for example, bot, and then just click save here. Now we can just double click on this. We select yes here, and uh, the login is going to be root, and the password is going to be the password you set. So in my case, it's testing, testing, one, two, three, test. And um, as you can see, we're now in the, um, we're inside the server, so, First of all, what we're going to do is we're going to well, create a new directory. So we can do that with mkdir. And uh, we can type in here the name of the directory. So I'm just going to call it like, bot or something like that. Then we type in cdbot, which like I'll put all the links for this in the, in the description. So then we're going to want to come back to the GitHub page here. Um, and we're going to paste this or copy this. As I say, all the commands are down there. So you're just going to copy and paste the commands. So for this, we're going to type in git clone. And um, we type in the URL here, and we should have this clone now. So if we type in ls, as we can see, steam anti spam bot, we cd into it. So steam anti spam bot, and uh, if we type in ls here, we can see all the files in here. Okay, so before we can actually run this application, we need, like we did on our local version, we need Node.js in the server. So um, there are a few different commands to run here, which I'll just leave in the description. There's no point in. Um, there's no point in me telling you them now. I'll just leave the commands in the description and you just run these commands. All right, then, so after you've run those commands, you should have Node.js and NPM installed in the system. And if you type in Node-V here, as you can see I did, uh, we get the Node.js version. And if we get NPM-V, then we can see the NPM version. So um, from here, then, we're going to want to change back into the directory we made. So um, I actually forget what I called it. Yeah, CD bots and um, Steam and the spam bot. So um, in here then, uh, what you can do is um, you can type in npmi, which will basically install like all the dependencies for the um, for the project. All right then, so now we have uh, node and npm installed. So you probably assume that we could just type in node index.js here, and uh, you could, but first of all, we obviously need to put our bot details in and um, tell the project our bot details. So to do that, we're, we're in the directory still. So um, we change into this directory and uh, we type in um, nano and then well config.js, which is where the um, config file is. And as you can see, this is the same file we added it before. So in here, um, you just type in your account name, account password and shared secret again uh, in single quotation marks, just like this. Um, so for example, like this single quotation marks. Uh, but I don't want to do that. So basically to save this, um, we're going to type in control X, then we're going to select Y and then we're going to click enter. And that's basically just going to save the file. So I'm just going to change the file to my details and I'll be right back. Okay. Then so once you put your details uh, into the config file, we're ready to run the bot now. So if we type in here, uh, well, as you can see first, um, the bots offline here. So I turned off my local version. So we type in node index.js. And uh, it should come up on logged on. Yep, it does. And um, the bot should come up in here. So as you can see, the bot is uh, now running in the server. So now what we do is we type in, uh, or sorry, not PM2, npm i minus g pm2. And wait for this to load. All right, then, so now that this is loaded, we um, simply just type in um, pm2 start index.js, like we did in the local version. And as you can see, this is now here um, running. But the advantage of this is, or well, if you see the bot come up here, hopefully, yep, it comes up. So the advantage of this is that we can actually close this whole session down. And uh, as you can see, the bot stays online. So literally we can go and turn our computer off uh, and it doesn't matter. Like this will just be running 24 seven. So if I come back into it then, uh, and we click again on our save session, enter in uh, root and our password again. And um, when you come back in here, if you wanna like restart the bot or anything, like if you wanna, well, yeah. First of all, to stop it, type in PM to stop and then the name, so it's just index. So we just type in pm2 stop index here, and uh, the bot stops then, and um, to start it again, we could type in pm2 start index. 
you want to just restart the bot, you can actually just type in PM to start index anywhere um, on this droplet and it will just restart the bot. As you can see, it comes in here. And um, if we also try it again, if we want to, um, and come up here, I just unbanned the bot again. If you want to unban someone, you can come in here, go to bans and um, it will come up down here. So you can just click unban. So if I type in again, well, just something that we banned, as you can see, we got banned and the message got deleted. So yeah, that's basically how to set up the bot. I uh, hope some of you find it useful and I'll see you guys in the next video.